long. I was in the middle of making the, uh, the same video, but then uh, I ran out of, I guess, room on the, on the SIM card, so I'm gonna do the video again. And uh, in case you hear that in the background, that's uh, soft beach sounds, um, you know, relaxation video. You know, you can find those. And I found this on the, oh, it's the drop. I forgot exactly his, his channel. And he talks about 432 uh, frequencies. So, you know, I listen to different things like that, and that's how I came across, you know, the ocean sign and different things for relaxation. Then I came, then, then today I was thinking about the target individuals. And then, you know, the word of the most highest basically is, uh, it's in truth. So you can't really use the, the word, even though we're flesh and blood and uh, sentient beings, we have emotions and feelings and different things like that. So we would tend to, like, uh, and I know, you know, the desire comes up to you want to use the word as a, it is a sword. But the sword cuts both sides. So you must, you must have to use good, perfect judgment because the most highest is, he's, he, he, he said he like, he loves judgment. Righteous judgment. Because his word is righteous judgment. It's balanced. So, in saying that, I thought about the, con you know, the, the, uh, perspective of a targeted individual, how how those around you judge you according, uh, they judge you according to their own feelings and desires of, of either what they've been told, people judge you according to what they've been told, according to how they really feel about you, and you then go and lie and do different things on you, and, and, and all their sin and falling short of the glory, so that's why I don't try to hide and say, well, I've never done nothing wrong. Yeah, everybody's done something wrong. But nobody deserves to be uh, tormented day and night, you know, if you use that term, by people who's basically doing worse than that. That's just, that's perfect judgment, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, I acknowledge my faults, but also, these people don't don't acknowledge no faults. They just blame you for everything. Even their own faults. It's your, it's your, it's your fault for them doing that. Which, that's not true. But at the same time, you must consider that the Most High uses them to help form you, especially if you're a believer in the Most High. And, and, and like I said, in, and from my point of view, I don't claim a religion, man-made religion, because they all come from the same mother. I claim the jure spirituality, that, that, that comes from the Most Highest, and His kingdom is inside of me which gives me the ability to come up with thoughts and ideas and different things like that from inside in his kingdom that's in me. Um, also, uh, from that point of view, he, just like you said, the Hamashiach, his purpose was to be crucified and he knew he said he was a lamb slain from the very foundation of the world. And then the word also says, Woe will come. But woe unto him by whom that woe comes. And then that woe for the Hamashiach was, a, was a, one of his brethren named Judas. Who, who basically uh, set the way and made the way for the crucifixion to happen. And, and dug the ditch. But he fell into his own ditch because at the end of the day he hung himself. And then I was saying, I was looking at the word, and the thought that came to me was, of what, of what spirit are you? Are you of the spirit of the Most Highest, or are you of the spirits of the world, legion? And I, I'm gonna show you what I mean by that through the word. Uh, this is Galatians 5 I'll start here and I brethren if I yet preach circumcision why do yet suffer persecution then is the offense of the cross ceased I would they were even cut off which trouble you 
For brethren, you have been called to liberty. Only use not liberty for occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. For the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, idolatry, fornication, these are these legions, these spirits. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, and they manifest. That's, he said, that's how you should know them by, by their works, because these spirits manifest. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variances, emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of that which I tell you before, as I've also told you in times past, that they which do, do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Elah. But the fruit, see, those were works of the flesh that manifest to show are self-evident through their actions, and, and then also you should know them by their works. That's the works of those spirits. When them, those spirits show up, they may manifest through the flesh, and you can identify them. That's how you know them. That's legion. But right here it says, but the fruit, there's only one fruit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and the lusts. But also you must consider the Hamashiach had a righteous anger too. So you got to balance. But none of those things I mentioned before or has anything to do with the fruit of the Spirit. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not desire of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. And then, let me go here. I did some posting on Facebook. And then, like I said, of course, I was not after anyone in particular. Those are just thoughts that came to me that I posted. And then I was going to go ahead and change it because I said it might offend someone. But then a thought came and said, no, don't change it. So I, you know, I'm assuming that that's what the Most High wanted me to put. I, this is what I posted on Facebook. I said, I use the scriptures to say all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of Yah for a reason. If you're choosing to be wicked and deliberately show bad faith actions to cause someone to fall, your fruit reveal that you are wicked. No matter what you call yourself or what church you attend. That's what I was going to change that word church because I didn't want to offend nobody. But then when I got ready to do it, a, a, a voice came to me and said, Do you like it is? Um, it says, this is King James Version. I, I use different versions. 21, for they sleep not unless they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause them to fall. S A S V. For they sleep not except they do evil, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause them to fall. A M P. For the wicked can, cannot sleep unless they do evil, 
they're deprived of sleep unless they make someone stumble and fall. AMPC, I don't know what these words mean. For they cannot sleep unless they have caused trouble or vexation. Their sleep is taken away unless they have caused someone to fall. BRG, for they sleep not except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause someone to fall. And then Matthew 7, 19-20, King James Version, Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, cast into the fire, wherefore by their fruits you shall know them. And Deuteronomy 27 and 24, Cursed be he that smited his neighbor secretly, and all the people shall say, Amen. So, you know, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of Yah, but we can see the wicked uh, according to their actions and works. And you know, that's, that's who the wicked is. You know, so we all have sinned and fallen short. And he said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then will I hear from heaven uh, and I will heal their land. So, basically that's, that's what it is, and that's the thought for the day. Hmm, okay, let me, one more thing. So, let's all, let's all work on doing better. Proverbs 6, 16-19. Talks about the six things that the Most High hate. He hates lying. He hates violence against the innocent. He hates those who make evil plans. He hates those who are quick to do evil. He hates those who mis misrepresent others. So, so when dealing with the Most High Word, you gotta you gotta deal with it honestly. So that's why I, I'm quick to repent. But at the same time, you know, those who are, some of those who are in religious organizations and groups and different things like that, uh, also that's in these sororities and uh, what they call them, Freemason groups and different things like that. You know, this is this is their actions. The gang started, so you know that's not of the Most High. Even though he might allow it, but he he don't cause it. There's another scripture that says, although they may gather, uh, I didn't send them. Basically, they uh, not, they're not of me. But he did go on to say, no what form to get you to prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Almighty. He's, and we're righteous because he said we are. But, and we even more the servants because we're his sons and daughters, joint heirs with the Hamashiach. Shalom.